Hey guys, this is Ix Roll at Ix with the Rollout Reviews, bringing you another Bionicle review. This time it is set number 8567, Liwa Nuva. This set was released in 2002 and contains 37 pieces. Just like Kopaka, Liwa's broadened shoulders, added armor, and larger mask definitely make him feel much more bulky than the original, especially by comparison to the other four Toa. His weapon choice is also entirely different. We'll go over the construction of Liwa very briefly because he is almost built exactly the same as Tahu. Even the arms are the same part just flipped around. His hands are green, despite all of the other connectors being black, and he holds his weapons very differently to make the dual weapon functionality more convenient. I do find it interesting that Liwa's weapons changed so drastically. I mean, all of the other Toa's weapons are still in the same ballpark, even Gali and Onua. Gali had hooks before, now she has hook-like axes. Uh, Onua had digging claws before, and now he has sort of digging drill tools. Liwa goes from having a single axe to dual katanas. I just think that's strange. It's not bad though, I really like the design of these. Uh, they're very, very simple, the simplest of the Toa Nuva weapons, but they certainly look pretty cool. Liwa now wears the Great Kanoe Miru Nuva, which allows its user to levitate to even greater heights than ever before. It also allows the user to borrow this power to nearby allies. Wow! This mask looks completely different from the original Miru. There's almost no similarities between the two, and a lot of people really dislike this mask because of how different it is. Honestly, and I might be in the minority here, I really like this mask, much better even than the original. I don't know, there's just something about the shape and the lines to it that really works for me. It of course attaches to the Toa's face and looks pretty good on Liwa himself. Liwa's gear function is of course exactly the same as all of the other Toa Nuva. You have an extra gear here at the bottom that locks this arm in place. This arm is attached via a black pin axle and can swing freely. If you would like to move this arm at the shoulder, you can slide this gear in like that, move it to where you want it, and slide it back to lock it in place. If you'd like to activate the gear function entirely, all you need to do is leave that there and swing away. Now, if you'd like to give Liwa a double gear function, all you need to do is pull out the black pin axle here, replace it with this gear and this axle, then you can place the black pin axle here at the back and replace the arm. And there you have Liwa swinging both of his swords. Liwa Nuva's dual weapon functionality is easily the most simple out of all of the Toa Nuva. Basically, all you do is bring his arms back here and then fold up the swords so that they sit on top of the connectors in his legs. And that's it. It gives him these wings, kind of like a base jumper or a flying squirrel, and using his power over levitation and air, he's actually able to attain flight. Just like with all of the other Toa Nuva, I found a way for Liwa to store his weapons without the use of any extraneous pieces. Liwa's method is exactly the same as Tahu's. Basically, you're going to temporarily pull off these gears here. Then you're going to take the fourth slot down on either of his swords and slide it over this axle. One going one way and the other going the opposite way. Then you can replace the gears here to lock it all in place. This works a considerable amount better than Tahu's just because of the shape of Liwa's katanas. They're much smaller and much less obtrusive. Liwa is interesting in the way that he is the only one of the Toa whose Nuva form I like better than the original. 
Not only is he just a much better set as far as playability and features go, but he's lacking a floppy arm, and I personally like this design better. Sure, he's almost identical to Tahu in a lot of ways, and sure, his dual weapon functionality is extremely simple, but aside from that, this guy is great. So that is about it, guys, and this is IX Roll at IX, signing off.